Hello, the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we had went through the cave of the Abaddon, which was the worst the game can throw at me, and I survived. Uh, and uh, I wanted to correct something I said in the last episode, because I goofed up. Uh, <laughs> turns out the armor is not past that door. It's actually on the opposite side of where this was. Oop, this is a little dark. I should light it up for you. And again, sorry for not having the battle sequence lit up. <laughs> I could have popped a cat's eye or something to deal with that, but I didn't think of it at the time. I was too busy um, freaking out <laughs> about dying, which, to be fair, I've died multiple times in that particular area. So I was expecting to die on camera. <laughs> but I didn't. There we go. That opens up that area there good. I can head down that way later. But uh, for the time being, I have to head over there. Because this is where the armor is. Or at least that's where I think it is. Uh, I might be entirely wrong. I was wrong the first time. <laughs> should mention that. But uh, I have a feeling, I have a feeling this will be exactly where it is. And 3rd Street. Municipal. Yep. Yep. I can't pronounce things. <laughs> but this is the right building. I was right. Okay. I'm gonna grab that. I am still overburdened as fuck. There's not much I can do about that issue right now. Because, <laughs> well, I haven't been able to go elsewhere. Um, let's see if I can drop stuff onto uh, Eddie here. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I could repair some stuff with the brush guns. I have the medicine stick that needs to be repaired. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does need to be repaired. And then do I have... No, I do not. I do have the 10 mil though. I do need to repair up... Oh yeah, I forgot I had that too. I do need to repair up that gun. There we go. And that should be it. Yeah, it should be good for a little bit. Okay, didn't need that. I used a lot of those, which was good. Uh, I'll repair this with... Not the Plasma Defender. Can I repair the Plasma Defender with the flare guns? I can. Okay, that's good to know, because this is far more valuable. Uh, there. Good. Okay. Good shit. And we got a... What? What? Huh. What was that? I didn't quite get that. I must have missed it entirely. Oh boy. Huh. Give me a second. I, I need to figure out what that was. Huh. Okay, so with the Wild Wasteland perk, this was automatically unlocked with the password GUEST. Not sure what that's a reference to. <laughs> but, anywho, let's go into the Treasurer's Report. Somebody from the political office should keep an eye on those guys down at the water treatment plant. That's the third request for extra funds. I've had to deny this month. Do they think we're made of money? I swear, it's like they want the communists to win. Well, I mean, <laughs> I could have, for all you know. Okay, enter office email. Attention all base personnel. Do not engage the protesters outside the construction zone. I know, I know, the presence of those freedom-loving no-good nicks fills my brain with the white-hot rage of capitalist justice. Oh, God, that's fucking... <laughs> uh, the voice probably matches up with what he was meaning. But the political office has something planned for them. And you mooks better not screw it up. <laughs> Commander Devlin. Okay. Memo from Commander Devlin. Attention all base personnel. We will soon play host to one of the greatest American patriots of our day. General Wes... Wellesley. Wellesley. Yeah, that's how the name goes, right? Wellesley. Uh, himself. For those of you whose family trees don't fork... Um... 
Are you assuming some people are interbreeding with that comment? That's weird. <laughs> that's that's a weird way to is <laughs> to insinuate the diminished IQ of someone. That's that's a thing. Okay. The general is chief liaison officer to the big MT, the big mountain research facility. He and his team are paying us a visit to collect our guests and take them someplace where they can do some good for their country beyond stinking of patchouli and shooting the LSD. Shooting the LSD. This is a man who's apparently never done drugs. <laughs> Neither have I, but I at least know the terms. Okay. That's a thing. Stinking of patchouli. Okay, that was... Not a statement I expected to say today. Alrighty. What have we got in here? Ooh. I can go into the municipal sewers this way, but I kind of don't want to. If anything, I want to try and go up to the top level here. Oh. Oh. That's what it does. Okay, then. <laughs> I guess I have to go in there to do the thing. I'm going to have this gun out in case I need it, which uh, clearly I do. And it's tunnelers, isn't it? Yep, it's tunnelers. There we go. Let's reload. <laughs> there we go. That should work. Wow, it's going to pop a lot of those for a while, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it is. Cripple enemies' right arms, or equivalent. That's a thing I didn't expect to see. Um, another tunneler. Another tunneler hide, thank you. Oh! Didn't expect there to be a generator down here. Nor did I expect the skeleton. Or the top half of one. Okay. Let's get moving. Ooh! Another thing for Eddie. Hey, hey, hey. And I got an upgrade board. There we go, take these. All good. You have gained the camaraderie perk, rank 3, giving you and Eddie both plus 2 to damage threshold. That would have been useful earlier. <laughs> That's fine, though. Oh, I found three of them, though. Hey! Hey, hey, I'm on a good track. Okay, can I pick up... I want to pick up the Broxo Cleaner, thank you. Uh, flare Gun too, because why not? It's right there. And a Bowie Knife, because why not? Alright, wow, there's a lot of shit in here. And a lot of dead body. <laughs> a lot of it. Okay, um... Let's use the flare gun to repair something. Um... Huh. What do I use it to repair? This is already repaired to full. Maybe I could use it to repair this. Yeah, because it needs a little repair right now. And anything in here? No, just Eddie. Thank God. So I didn't remember there being any uh, any enemies around the armor, but at the same time, this game surprised me in other ways before. Salisbury steak, and eh, don't need it. That's all good. And turn on the flashlight. I think all that all that buzzing's coming from somewhere. It's down that way. It sounds like anyway. Just making sure I'm not missing it. Hey! There he is. That's the armor, the way it looks. Normally. Oop, don't want to drop that. Ah, I'm over encumbered. I'll have Eddie carry that. Eddie! Eddie! That sniper rifle is in pretty good condition. I can sell that. Real damn good. What the? What? I'm sorry, what? Okay. Why can't I give it to him? Oh, there it is. That's weird. I must have glazed right over it. That was really weird. Okay. That's taken care of. And this is how the armor looks normally. This is a lot of beer around him, too. Must have been drinking as he was holding off the hordes. Yep. That is 
the best medium armor you can pick up. And it looks fucking cool as shit. It's got reinforced metal knee pads and shoulder pads, which you don't see on anything else. Any other armor set in the game. It just looks amazing. And it it feels amazing when you're wearing it, believe me. And a uh, playthrough where I wasn't doing hardcore. <laughs> so I didn't need to worry that much about the weight of my armor. Uh, this armor set carried me pretty damn far. There we go. Ew. Oh, you were ghoulified. Yeah. That makes sense. Alright. Um, let's grab the armor off of Eddie. Is that way we can pair this? There we go. Just to get it repaired up. That's the only reason. Oh yeah, that's right. Because the helmet is heavy. It can only be re repaired with other Riot Gear helmets. So, there we go. That's the only way to repair it. That's really the only way. Unless you also have metal armor, because metal chest armor in and of itself will repair it. Weird, I know. That's how it goes. Anyway, right gear, I can repair that with this, and then that, and that's all repaired up. Beautiful. This will take a while to get repaired up to full. But, the stats on here are also amazing. Uh, added critical chance, which is actually higher than the one I... Yeah, that's two points higher than what I got currently on this. And we got plus ten to guns, which means you're pretty much covered forever with guns. Uh, added charisma which is nice to have in the back pocket. Uh, added perception with the helmet, which is just, just fucking fine and dandy. Uh, additional speech with a plus five, that's relatively okay when it comes to stats, but it's nice to have in the back pocket in case, you know, your charisma goes down for whatever reason. And sneak sight, which allows you to, whenever you're sneaking, uh, it'll change it to night vision. Well, it'll change depending on the situation. Uh, if it's like completely dark, like open area, the l lights will change to red and you'll be able to see just fine. Um, if it's just a dimly lit area in like a cave or whatever, it'll change to green. So it, it'll, it's a little context sensitive and it'll work like that. And it's just a beautiful, amazing set of armor. And it provides just as much damage threshold as the old Desert Ranger armor that we picked up all the way in uh, Honest Hearts DLC in Zion. And just a l one... Actually, it provides one extra point with the helmet. That's about it. Anyway, I should stop gushing about the armor. I'm just going to give it back to Eddie so he can carry it. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. There's something over here. Or not. Oh, wait. There's there's something over here still. If I can only move. There we go. Duffel bag. What do we got? Ooh. Some good stuff. Stim pack. Surgical tubing. It's all good stuff for me. And flipboards. Why not? Medical brace. I don't need the Sunset Sarsaparilla. Didn't mean to pick up the Sunset Sarsaparilla. Ugh. I'll just drink all of these. Fuck it. There we go. I will be dehydrated as shit. Uh, probably should pop a water just to... <laughs> just to circumvent that issue. There we go. Good shit. And Physician's Desk. Alright. Hey! Whoops. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I could use that doctor's bag, though. Gods, no. There we go. Perfect. Oh, ooh, you were crushed by that, weren't you, buddy? Eesh. Eesh. I am sorry. You did not die pleasantly. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. We're good. Well, I'm going to double check these refrigerators, see if I missed anything. Didn't miss anything there. Did not miss anything here. Okay. Onward we go. Got that amazing, amazing set of armor that I was telling you guys about. Which I will be eventually giving to... I am pretty sure I will be giving it to... Uh, uh, Cass. There we go. 
I was thinking Kate, and it's like, no, that's a different redhead. <laughs> I have too many redheads in my life. Not really. <laughs> Although, most of the redheads that I know of start with a C. Now, I've realized now. Anyway, moving on. Alright, uh, should, uh, get down here, there we go. I definitely should be heading back to the, uh, sink. To be, you know, getting all my weight stuff dealt with. And, uh, considering that's the way forward, and this is not, I don't think. I think I want to go this way. Okay, the explodens, can you stop? Please. Thank you. Good gods. Oh. I can't go forward any further. So I have to go that way. Alright. Well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> See what's in the duffel bag. Woo! I can use that. I can use all of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Spank you. Spank you very much. Okay, I'm going to take all of that. So all of that's good. Um, can make some more stuff, can't I? Uh, ghost sight. Yeah, there we go. That's something I could use. I picked that up while I was at the uh, Sierra Madre uh, bunker. Uh, really, I can't make any more slasher? I thought I could have sworn I picked up some psycho. Okay, well... In that case, have Eddie deal with some uh, some of my inventory management. Um, yeah, I'll make some ammo. Why not? There we go. Uh, from here on, if I'm making any ammo, it'll be going into the super hand load. Because this, while it burns through the condition quickly, like I mentioned last episode, it will be double, well, double the damage threshold uh, piercing as this as this load. And also does 0.2 more damage, uh, 0.2 times, rather, more damage, which is still a little bit better than what we got. And it's well worth the uh, deterioration of the weapons, in my opinion. So, we'll be going over to that for the time being. Okay, and get some wad cutter. There we go. There we go. Get. Uh, I should add more into the jacket of hollow points just until I'm completely done with this place. Then I can sell them off. All right. Um. Yeah, let's break those down and make them into better amro. Uh, the semi wad cutters. There we go. And let's go to the multi tools. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can make a doctor's bag with those forceps there. There we go. That's some of the weight dealt with. And I think, don't quote me, but I think I can make a weapon repair kit. Yeah, I can. Beautiful. Gotta love that. All right. That deals with another bit of the, uh, fucking weight right there. Um, recycle that, might as well. And... Anything else in here I can use? I can do that, might as well. And... Just wanted to make sure. I don't want to break down the rockets. There we go. And just making sure there's nothing else in the multi-tools I can use. Ugh. Yeah, let's let's do the super stim packs. There we go. And yay, I'm not overburdened anymore. Woo! But uh, I definitely should uh, head back to the sink. Uh, can I... Yeah, I can't jump when I'm up here. So, yep, that's not going to be a way to traverse anything. So, I gotta go all the way over there. But I need to go back to the sink and sell off some of my stuff, as well as drop off some of my stuff. So, for a while yet, 
I will not be progressing, but I did manage to get the armor set, which was pretty damn cool. All the way over there. And I managed to deal with the Cave of the Abaddon, which has the worst that the game will throw at you, I'd say. The worst uh, that the game can throw at you in regards to tunnelers. Um, dealt with all of that route. route. Well, rather well. <laughs> Uh, better than I expected, anyway. So, yeah. I'm just going to end the episode here for right now, because, well, we're kind of over time. Not very much, so. And, uh, really, there's not much else I can do <laughs> without going all the way back to uh, Mojave. And, uh, that's going to take some time. Whoa, Eddie, your stuff broke again. That, that's a typical break. Uh, East Out noticed it as well. <laughs> That's another YouTuber I like. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop before I <laughs> fucking promote other people. Which is not a bad thing to do, but at the same time, you know. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm half asleep. I've not had enough coffee. East Out's a good YouTuber. I follow him. You should too. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and getting a sweet piece of armor. Dealing with the hellish situations that the game puts us in. And, well, that was last episode. But still, it was done in this recording session. <laughs> for you.